We're all washing our hands more, which is a good thing in the fight against viruses like COVID-19. But what's not so great is the effect it's having on our skin. Dermatologists say they're seeing a rise in a form of eczema caused by repeated hand washing. But there are simple things you can do to help keep your hands healthier during lockdown. So we're seeing quite a lot of cases of uh, irritant hand dermatitis. So this is because of uh, repeated hand washing, repeated hand sanitizing, uh, particularly with uh, gel-based hand washers and gel-based hand sanitizers, which strip your skin of a lot of moisture. It's obviously really important that we're all following the advice to wash our hands more regularly. But how do you follow that advice without ending up with really dry or irritated skin? There are ways of washing your hands and protecting your hands at the same time. And the most important thing to remember is that uh, you want to uh, use something which has as much moisture content as possible. Does the way we're washing our hands actually make any difference? Because I like to wash mine in really hot water. I feel as though they're not properly clean unless that water's almost scalding. Is that okay for my skin? So it depends. If you have got an intact skin barrier, and meaning that you don't have hand eczema or you don't have hand dermatitis, then washing with warm water or hot water should not cause too much of a problem in terms of symptoms. But it's advisable that you wash your hands with lukewarm water because if you do have mild irritation on your hands already, it's going to sting your hands a lot less. Uh, so the advice is lukewarm water, which will allow the soap substance uh, or the hand uh, wash to uh, be able to do its job and also it won't irritate your skin in terms of the heat because eczema um, and heat don't do well together. Is there any variation in the advice you'd give to younger and older skin types? So generally, younger skin tends to retain its moisture or lipid content a lot better. As we all grow older, we tend to lose that lipid barrier when our skin tends to become drier. So my advice really would be for older people to uh, use more uh, ointment or cream-based moisturisers, which are thicker, greasier moisturisers uh, for their skin. What's the difference between hand cream and just good old-fashioned body moisturiser? hand creams or hand ointments tend to have a bit more of a thicker, creamier, richer texture to them because the hand uh, cream manufacturers tend to make it that way because they know that we're stripping the oils uh, which are essential from our skin more so from our hands than elsewhere. Are there any ingredients we should be avoiding? Generally avoid gel-based hand washers. If you've already developed hand eczema, you should use more cream-based uh, hand washers and also thicker moisturizers, as in greasier moisturizers and hand creams are better for you. Should we be using different types of moisturizer depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime? That's exactly what I have been advising because during the day we're having to use our hands a lot more than during the night and it makes more sense for us to use more uh, cream-based moisturisers uh, during the day or lighter moisturisers during the day uh, which don't tend to cause more oiliness whereas at night you can afford to use more oily creams and you, you generally are not washing your hands or using your hands during the night so it's a better time for your hands to restore them moisture. So ultimately, what are your top tips for healthier hands? My top tips are get a hand wash which contains more of a cream content. That's the first thing. Wash your hands as is advice uh, for 20 seconds and then apply a moisturiser after each hand wash. Cream based will feel more thicker on your skin but during the day will allow you to do your job without your hands slipping on computer surfaces. And ointment based moisturisers or greasier moisturisers such as Vaseline at night. And the other top tip is that at night if you wash your hand with a cream based moisturizer put on an ointment you can also uh, create an occlusive effect with gloves or you can simply get cling film and wrap it around your hands to allow the moisture to seep into uh, the skin rather than going onto bed clothes or, or elsewhere we use this technique a lot for patients with severe eczema which researchers have tried a basket load of popular hand creams, rating them for effectiveness and greasiness? Drop a comment with the tips and tricks you'd like us to tackle next. 
For loads more expert advice on COVID-19, head to witch.co.uk slash coronavirus.